A beautiful victory of Dylan Groenewegen. He is back to his absolutely speed level. Eh? He is, he is. And a very special moment for him winning in the Tour de France in the Dutch Champions jersey. So he won, he'll never forget. If you look to the earlier stages, he was not in the position to show how fast he was. Definitely. The first stage he got pinned on the right barricade. And then uh, yesterday, at the end of yesterday, we had a good debrief with the boys and actually Dylan admitted that the mistake was his, that he should have followed the boys, should have pushed a bit for, uh, forward a bit earlier and we were totally out of position yesterday. But that's the, a true quality of a leader to put his hand up and say, my mistake. And we had a good talk about it and we had to execute today better. It was executed a lot better and we know that Dylan is, is as fast as anybody here. As long as he gets a clean run at the finish, which he got today, and uh, incredible victory and really, really proud of him. Yeah, but I believe that I didn't see him on this top speed for three years. Look, he, he's changed. When he came to the team, uh, there's a couple of things. Firstly, he doesn't have to go to Paris this year, does he? <laughs> there's no Paris, so he doesn't have to finish. Secondly, when he came to the team, he only done flat races to prepare for the Tour de France. And you know, he struggled to get through the Tour de France because he's a pure sprinter. So we, tr we made him a little bit more robust, we changed some training techniques, sent him to the Dolphinet for five days. But last year we sat down and he, sa he said he thought that even though he, he got through the Tour de France the best he's ever, in the best condition ever, he felt that he lacked a little bit of really top end speed. So this year we changed some things, dropped some volume in his training and really, really concentrated on his biggest asset and that is speed. And uh, you saw today and he's, he's going very fast and it's great to see him with the speed that he had at his peak. So this means this is a project of three years? It is, it is. Look, he got a good, nice win at the Tour de France two years ago, but also Dylan's at, at his age as well. He's a more robust rider. He can do those things. He's got a lot of experience, but he also he knows his body very well and uh, it's great to see him uh, flying like this. It was not the most easy year for him uh, in the spring. No, it wasn't. He got, he got sick in, in Saudi tour and had to leave the race. And then he's got, I can't remember how many podiums he's got this year before he started winning. Maybe close to 10, five to 10 podiums. And then this last month has been very, very good. You know, as a team, we've won nine races in the last 10 or 11 days. And Dylan certainly went into the national championships with some great morale, a beautiful win at the nationals. And he came here knowing that he had great condition and a hell of a lot of speed. Can you tell us how special is Dylan? How, what, sorry? How special is Dylan? Look, what I, what I really r have a lot of respect for Dylan is, is yesterday was a perfect example. When things didn't go right, he wasn't blaming anyone. He took responsibility and said, I made a mistake, but we can do better today. And that's a sign of a true leader, who, someone who owns, who takes responsibility for their actions, good and bad. So uh, I think he's a, he's a great leader, great example for our team. And, uh, and very, very happy that we made the purchase a couple of years ago to bring him on board because he's had some great wins and that's two stages in the Tour de France for our organisation. And that's the real Aussie mentality also, eh? Yeah, it is. I th we're, we're an honest team and I think the, the best way to get the most out of everyone, you can either ride for your leader or you can ride for your leader. And these guys have a hell of a lot of respect for Dylan because of the way he acts off the bike as well.